Hi, welcome to AR Wraps. My name is Randy Miller, and today I'm going to show you how to install a refrigerator door wrap. Alright, this is a prepping out to install the door wraps. First of all, what you need to do is re remove any obstacle courses. For instance, I, I, uh, there's screws usually on top and bottom of the handles, so you remove the handles first. And I've already done that before. Next is you need to clean around the edges and all around the doors to get a nice adhesive on there. And what I normally use is uh, alcohol and water in a bottle, or you can just put it on the rag. But definitely clean the edges really good because that's where it's going to stick the most. And then clean all the way around and get all the, the chunks off and make it as smooth as possible. The tools I use to uh, wrap the door wraps is really basic tools, it's a squeegee, a razor, a blow torch, or um, a heat gun, or a blow dryer. Because what it does, it softens up the, the vinyl and it sinks it into um, the refrigerator door. Alright, when you receive the prints, you're going to have two different prints. The one for the top and one for the bottom, or vice versa, or the, the there will be two different sizes, or even actually three. But you, I'm going to actually print it over what it's supposed to be, so you can trim it out. So it's not going to be exactly the size of the refrigerator, and that's a, it's a good thing because you want it as tight as possible. All right. The next thing you need to do is pull the backing off, not all the way. You can just do it um, probably half the way. Okay, the beauty of the vinyl, this high quality vinyl, is if you get an air bubble, you can actually uh, massage it out and it's, it's, it's a great, great product. It's not one of those sticky vinyls that you, it pulls off and it's hard to pull off. No, this is actually, it, when it's on, it's on, but uh, you can actually move it around and it's really easy. And that's the beauty of this product, the vinyl. Okay, the first thing I like to do is cover the front of the refrigerator. So what I need normally do is kind of eyeball it. You can, you can feel around where it's supposed to be at. And don't worry about it. I mean, if it's, you can move it around. It's, not, it's sticky, but it's not sticky. Make sure you're overlapping it on top and on the bottom. All right, when you position where you want it to be, make sure the corners are where you're supposed to be at and make sure it's all evenly straight and uh, just lined up. So next is you need to use your, your squeegee. And don't, you can push hard, but don't push hard, hard. And do small strokes, just like that. It gets the air bubbles out. And remember, if you see an air bubble, after you install it, you can just actually massage it and it'll go away. Alright, next what I like to do is open the door and work on the sides here. You pull it tight and make a, a nice clean edge. So you pull on like that. Once you get connected, you slowly work over. All right, next one I like to do is I like to go probably um, a quarter of an inch up.
and lip it over. And then I like to go all the way around. And just take your time. Step is actually cutting it where the weather or the stripping is at. And you got a nice clean wrapped round edge. And anything I wasn't, if I try hard enough to be whatever does it, but the odds are against me, don't prevent me. And if I didn't fight back, I resent me. This is the diamond in the rough time to light it up and X. The final process is actually heating up the vinyl and what it does is it softens up the vinyl and it, 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 it goes in the crevices and, and, the, and the, around the, the knobs and, or the, the nuts or anything that goes around that. It just seals it up nicely and what I normally use is a blowtorch or a heat gun but if you don't have either or you can actually use a blow dryer and it softens it up and it get, sneaks it even more. So this is the process I go through. Alright, as you can see, I'm heating this up and really, really quickly, and you can see it uh, actually melt into the refrigerator, and I'm just pushing it on, and, uh, and it stays on. Alright, for longer pieces, uh, for if you have a really long fridge or anything, it's best to actually go on the bottom, pull it tight on the bottom, and then you work your way down, you will have less air bubbles. Alright, we're all done installing the top part of the refrigerator. I'm showing you how easy it is to actually install it. And there's so many different options you can do. Yeah, if you're a graphic designer or an artist or anything like that, or even a photographer, if you want to actually send me the images, give me the dimensions of your your refrigerator, I can print them out, roll them up, and mail it to you, and you can install it yourself. Or if you're not really good at the arts, or you just want to be us to be creative for you, you can send all the images. We can Photoshop them and combine them and do this and that, and then roll it up, mail it, and you can install it yourself. If you're a local uh, business and if you want me to install it, you're more welcome to come over and install it. Um, there's solid colors, so if you want to, I mean, if you have a black, uh, you know, dishwasher or or silver or anything like that, I can actually uh, we have uh, many many different colors you can we can get pretty close to. Uh, or we can have a custom color if you want, any kind of custom color, solid color or tire stripes or anything like that, get a hold of me. So if you got any comments or questions, comment down below. And uh, hopefully I can talk to you soon. I'm always uh, open and uh, for any ideas or any creations. And uh, if you want to collaborate with anything, uh, for as, a, as a designer or anything like that, you're more welcome to call me. My name is Randy Miller. My phone number is 208-696-1180.